Hi lovelies, it's Emma with something a little bit different for you today. I shared this on my Instagram not long ago um, and basically I was having a little clear out or a little sort through of my crafty area and in a box came across this which is a Filofax. It's a Filofax of the personal size um, and it's pink leather with like a stitched cross on the front. I don't know specifically which one, like what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's a Filofax. And it was, but my mum bought this for me when I got my first proper, like, full time job. Um, and unfortunately, I never really used it as I should have used it. And it kind of got put into a drawer and kind of unloved a little bit. But I felt a bit bad because the quality of it is so good you know the rings and the clasp and everything else it's like so sturdy and the leather is really soft and gorgeous and I was wondering how I could give it a bit of a creative update to maybe give it a new purpose um, and make use of it and so it's not just sat in a drawer in a box and just forgotten about like let's have it out on a shelf let's look at it kind of thing so I was going through um, I was also like I said, I was having a little sort through of my crafty stuff and found like, um, well, it, well, I didn't find it, it wasn't lost, but I've got sort of a 12 by 12 plastic wallet of odd bits of paper um, from past kits that just aren't being used. Not necessarily scraps because some of them are full 12 by 12, um, but they're just papers from past kits that haven't been used. Um, so I thought I would take the dividers that were already in the file facts and back them in some pretty pattern papers and decorate them and go from there. I didn't really sort of have a plan. So you, what you saw me do to start off with is take out all the sort of unnecessary sheets. So like the address sheets and uh, the note paper pages and that kind of thing. Um, I just, I don't need them at this point. And then I've taken the, um, dividers that were already in there and I'm just backing those with pattern paper. Now to start off with I start using double sided tape um, which was a good idea but um, with the front and back of all of them that I needed to do um, it was just going to take ages and then you can never get right in the corners can you so as this is on rings and is going to be turning and everything else I wanted it to be securely like stuck down. So I'm putting the paper on one side and then I'm punching the holes back through with my hole punch. That's just a Fiskars uh, single hole punch. And then this is where I switch to my glue stick. Now this is just a Pritt stick. I've had it for ages, so I'm surprised it's not dried out, but it's not, it's still going strong. Um, I just covered the back of the divider, stuck it onto the sheet and then cut it out, which seemed a much more effective way of doing it. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit through me covering all of my dividers because um, firstly the light was getting on my nerves because um, like I've said before my little craft space at the moment um, is surrounded by windows um, and we have a south facing garden so the sun is on the back all afternoon which means I really battle with the light sometimes um, because then my desk glares and yeah so I'm not giving you excuses but that's just what happens. So um, yeah, I'm not going to make you sit through all of this. I'm going to skip ahead in a second. Um, but the pa mainly the paper paper there there there. Get your words out, Emma. Um, mainly the papers that I'm using are from Page Heaven Page Heavens Page Evans. Take me away. Seriously, I can't talk today. Um, yeah, they're from the Page Evans Take Me Away collection with Pink Paisley. And they're just bits and pieces that I had left over. You might remember that in November, I think I shared it on here, um, but back in November last year, I went on a workshop with Paige, uh, which was fantastic. And we got um, a whole pack of uh, papers to use um, on that retreat with uh, layouts that she'd created. So, because um, she does so like in, in intricate designs seriously seriously 
Um, she does such intricate designs. So some of the big pieces of paper, we only used like a tiny bit of it. So I still had pretty much full sheet left. Um, so I'm making use of those. I'm fairly sure I skipped ahead. Maybe I will in a minute. So I'm just showing you that I'm covering the front and the back. Um, and I'm just showing you how they go in my file of facts. Um, and yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use this for, but I do know that it now looks a lot prettier than it did. And that's the main thing. <laughs> or it is to me anyway. If you've got any ideas what I can use this for, please leave them in the like comments below because, um... I had someone suggest on Instagram maybe like as a YouTube planner, which is possible, but the main reason I didn't use my file of facts as a planner when I first had it was because, um, I mean, it's probably my fault because I think the more I would have used it, the more it would have laid open, but it really irritated me that it didn't lie flat. Like you couldn't open it and then it just lie there ready for you to use it would kind of keep closing on itself. So I'm not entirely sure that an actual planner would be um, like a good idea. Maybe I could use, someone suggested on my Facebook that I could use it as like a place for jotting down layout or video ideas, which is also, it's a possibility. I was thinking maybe possibly like a mini art journal, like if I pre-punched a load of like the right sized pages and put them in, then I could take out a page, art journal on it, and then put it back in, and then it would like fill up really nicely. I'm not sure though. So let me know in the comments down below um, if you have an idea, or if by the end of it you think, ah, oh, Emma, you could totally use it for this, then please let me know because I need some ideas. Um, so yes, I've skipped ahead now, finally. Um, and this is just the decorating part. Now I didn't film all of this because I did faff around a little bit. Um, but basically what I'm doing is some embellishments are fussy cut from the Take Me Away papers, um, some are from, uh, current Light Forever kits, well, I say current, um, I mean like the February kit or, um, the November, no, actually I didn't use November, um, but a few of the past Light Forever kits, um, like that Dear Lizzie ticket there that one that says love more that I'm just sort of balancing on the top of that wood veneer that was from the beep beep kit um and yeah I'm just kind of pulling in a mix of all sorts as long as the colors kind of go um and seeing how that works so I, I had fun with the embellishing actually and because I knew it was going to be in the ring binders, I wasn't bothered about whether it was a bit chunky so I've used some wood veneer as like replacement for foam um, I pulled out this Dear Lizzie Saturday ephemera pack because there's some really, well not really obscure, but thing like pieces of ephemera that I would find a little bit trickier to use. Um, so on some of these pages you will see I managed to use the balloons, I managed to use a couple of birds, I think I used the bunny, I was trying to use the fox, I don't think I managed to use the fox. Um, but yeah, oh, and towards the end, I also pulled in a few bits from Maggie Holmes Bloom. I think I, I, um, I had the sticker sheet and I'd taken the sticky off the back. So they were basically like ephemera pieces. Um, so yes, like I said, I'm not going to make you sit through all of this. I'm going to skip ahead in a second and then you'll get a close up at the end. But I was also thinking this would work quite nicely um, as a kind of mini album in and of itself. So I could kind of fill it with pictures possibly I don't know yeah let me know down below or let me know if you've done something similar with a planner um I'd be really interested to to hear that um I hope you're all well anyway um if you saw this on my Instagram um then you will kind of know what these pages look like uh, I'm just holding them up for you now I love that cross stitch paper in the background that's a Paige Evans one, it's so pretty. Um, but the colours from Dear Lizzie really go well with the Paige Evans papers, so 
yeah I've left that frame open on one side so I could slide something under that if I wanted to at a later date there you see I've managed to use the little parrot because that quote says the dreams uh, the best dreams are when you're awake and that parrot has got his eyes closed so I thought that was um, quite good use the bicycle I went a bit mixed media on that last one I used some white acrylic paint just to soften the background same with this one as well that ballerina piece is from a Maggie Holmes is from the Maggie Holmes bloom I've used some of those wood veneer banners and also the Tim Holtz small talk phrase stickers they're always handy I love that back page with the hedgehog <laughs> it's so cute so yeah I'm really happy with the, how this came together but like I say I just need to figure out what I'm going to use it for um what I've also done which I kind of left it overnight to dry is the I don't know whether you saw at the beginning the filofax came with a black filofax ruler that's been like that you just clip into the rings like you can tear it out and change where it is um and I have coated that numerous times in white acrylic paint um and then I think I'm going to put some washi on it so now it's not a black ruler anymore it's just like a it will be a bookmark I think but yeah so here I'm just going to give you a little flip through so you can see how the pages look all together and then you will have some close-up shots at the end. So I will stop talking now, I'll put some music on so you can see it. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed then please consider doing so. Um, I love hearing from all my subscribers when they comment um, and thumbs up and all that kind of thing. Uh, but yes, let me know what you think, let me know what you think I should use it for and until next time guys, bye!